Hi guys, I'm Yayoi, Artistic Director of NISA Visual Arts. On behalf of all the staff and faculty at NISA, I want to just welcome you to the NISA Visual Art virtual workshops for the summer of 2020. And although every single one of us would much prefer being on site, working alongside of you in the studios, we're happy that we just get this chance to touch base with you and to connect with you through the screen. We recognize that this is a stressful time for all of us, and if you're anything like me, I'm guessing that planning for your time at NISA may have allowed for you to gain a steady footing during these times of uncertainty. It's important to keep in mind that every single one of us are continuously recalibrating and finding our balance. And with all the various and inspiring forms of perseverance and creativity and resourcefulness that have emerged as we move through these times, it's also essential to acknowledge the strain many of us are feeling in attempting to manage this new reality. Although Nissa did not take flight this summer, our creativity and our expression continues. And I think that's the crucial advantage we have as artists and creative beings. We can make and create and we don't have to stop. We can make for ourselves, we can make for others, we can chronicle, respond, react to what's going on in the world. And I think that that can be a great means to process and to understand things as they are happening and as we are living them. I often like to say in our closing ceremony that it is no secret that a single work of art has ever ended a war or stopped a famine or resolved our surplus of global issues, but art gives a forecast of a world to come. Changing the world is not on the forefront of why artists make art, but what we are constantly reminded of is that there is revolution in the heart of creation. And when I say revolution, I mean a perpetual question of oneself and the world that we exist in. As artists, we are obeying a type of necessity, solving a puzzle, solving a problem, and in our ruthless, laborious, joyful, compulsive, and blissful struggle to get it just right, and I know that every single one of you watching this knows exactly what I'm talking about. I have reviewed your portfolios, looked at your sketchbooks, read your statements, so I know that you get it, but in order to get it just right onto our canvases, in our sculptures, with our paint or charcoal or Copic markers, or any expression of any kind, as artists, we can't help but make our viewers aware that the way we currently exist in the world that we live in simply just won't do. You will notice a common theme in these workshops, many of them touching on the idea of art as autobiography in relation to the artist's life and experiences. It takes the notion of authorship very seriously, so the meaning of the work in its conception and execution is seen as something determined by the artist. It's a great and perfect opportunity to look within yourself and to your immediate surroundings. We hope that these video workshops will serve you well and give you a glimpse into what you can look forward to for the summer of 2021. And we hope that it can inspire you to carry out your own work or series of work despite not being on site in Fredonia this summer. The teachers of the workshops have all agreed to correspond with you should you have any questions or should you be looking for some feedback on the work you create in response to their instruction. We hope you are taking this time to explore your inner resources, um, staying home and being safe. We're looking forward to resuming our new version of normal in 2021 with you. So in the meantime, stay calm and well informed. And may we all maintain good health and well-being and continue making lots and lots of art.